Recently, we discussed compression ratio and how it affects performance. Today, we are going to show you how to calculate compression ratio for your own power plant. To determine compression ratio, we must make five volume measurements. To keep things organized, we'll record each one on a sheet. We'll start with the cylinder volume at BDC. Since we know that the bore is 4125 and the stroke is 4 inch, we just plug them into the equation for the volume of the cylinder. 0.7854 times bore squared times the stroke times 16.39. This equation converts the result from cubic inches to cubic centiliters. We do this because our equipment is designed to measure in metric volumes. Our result is 876.15 centiliters. The second measurement is combustion chamber volume. Most manufacturers will list this on their spec sheet, but if there's any doubt, you can measure it yourself. With the valves installed, as well as the correct spark plug, a clear acrylic plate is sealed over the combustion chamber with a little bit of engine assembly lube. With the barrette in place over the hole in the plate, it is precisely filled to 100 cc's. Then it's slowly drained into the chamber until the chamber is full with no air bubbles. And look at that. We'll check the reading on the barrette. Our result is 69 cc's. The third measurement is head gasket volume. The manufacturer will provide the bore and compressed thickness of the gasket and will use those numbers much like we did when measuring the cylinder volume. With a 4200 bore and 40 thousandths compressed thickness, this yields a gasket volume of 9.08 cc's. The fourth measurement is cylinder volume at TDC. This measurement assumes a perfectly flat piston with no dome or dish. The LS we used has a piston depth of 5 thousandths in the hole, and we'll plug that number into our volume equation. The result is 1.10 cc's. The final measurement is piston top volume. Now, if it had a dome, it would take away volume, or if it had dish or valve reliefs, it would add volume. But since our LS piston was completely flat, we don't need to make this measurement. But if it was not, we would measure it the same way we would measure a combustion chamber. With all five volumes known, simply add them together. This is the total volume at BDC and is the numerator in our equation. Next, take the same number and subtract volume one from it. The result is the volume at TDC and it becomes the denominator in our equation. Now, divide these numbers and you have the compression ratio for your engine. Ours is 12.06 to one.